Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the newest issue of Fangoria Magazine, Volume 2, Issue 12. So this is the cover. Here's the table of contents so you can see what's inside this issue. See, there's a letter from the editor, as always. Letters from fans. The monster invasion section. This article looks really interesting, so it's all about drive-in movie theaters, which during the pandemic um, have actually probably gotten more traffic than uh, traditional theaters since they were closed down for so long, because it's kind of a safe way to enjoy the movies amongst other people. One thing Fangoria always has is a lot of great interviews and deep insight into movies that either are in the making or have come out. I also love how they include lots of you know, retrospective commentary as well, looking at the history of horror. So there's quite a bit in this issue about Candyman, because finally Candyman is coming out this year. So there is a lot here to dig into. There's that piece. There's another about the art, the film. So that's pretty cool. And there's one about choreography. Really, I mean, this is... And even this, speaking of retrospective, there's an article about the original film. So not only looking ahead, but looking back. And I love the, the typeface here, right? When you see that, you know it's Candyman. And here's the cover story, Werewolves and Me. Who doesn't love werewolves? Lots of great photography. Something to uh, point out is that the quality of the paper that you get with this magazine is really nice. It's nice, thick, glossy, but not so glossy that you can't read it. 
But you feel like you're holding a quality product when you get this magazine. It's not like they're trying to cheap out on the paper or anything like that. So that is good. Pretty cool, right? This is kind of taking a look back at three slashers and ways to perhaps improve them. Really neat, right? We've got Shocker, which is a great movie with an amazing soundtrack. Friday the 13th, New Beginning, and Freddy's Revenge, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. There's even a piece about architecture. Very cool. That's what I'm telling you. This, this magazine, there's always something for everyone, depending on what you're into. See, the pages are so thick, I'm not even sure if I'm holding one or two. <laughs> Gay Racula. Well, that's something I've never heard of, but pretty cool. That's the thing. There's all sorts of good stuff. And book reviews. This book, the Final Girl Support Group, is one that I saw online and was curious about, so it's great to get a review here. So there you have it. So we're talking about 98 pages in this issue of Fangoria. The July 2021 issue, Volume 2, Issue 12. So go to Fangoria.com uh, to subscribe, or you can pick up your issue out in the wild, um, and that'll be coming soon. I'm a subscriber, so I got this issue today. So that's another advantage. If you subscribe, you'll, uh, I believe, save some money, and you'll also get it sooner. And subscribers get special covers that the newsstand editions don't. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So if you're a horror fan, this is the latest issue of Fangoria Magazine. So make sure to go pick it up, and thanks for tuning in. Take care.